Stephanie Ratcliffe, Executive Director at the Wild Center in the Adirondacks. And one of our naturalists is going to show me a new set of images from space on our planet Adirondack that actually captured the asteroid meteor. What actually hit Russia? What was yeah, it? This meteor. And we'll actually head over to Russia to view this if we look at the sphere. So I see you've turned on the lines that show us the So our meteor is actually touched down just north, where you can see the image just north of Kazakhstan. So I'm going to come right in. I'm actually going to zoom right in because the meteor that we're going to see, although it is very large in actuality, on the sphere, it's a very, very small image. So we're going to zoom on in. You're going to watch right in this area, and there's going to be a small little puff. I'm going to replay it a couple of times. So just pay attention. Was that it? That was. I'll go ahead and rewind it for you for a sec. And I'm going to actually have you hold your finger right here. And you're going right. to see that puff ball. That? That was it? That. That very fast moving little blimp. One more time. Uh, oh, I see it. Ah. And so we're not actually seeing it. What are we seeing? What you're actually seeing as this meteor was streaking through the sky, Basically, it was being trailed by a long stream of vapor, and that is really what you're seeing, the condensation of that vapor. Like, like, like a, what a, uh, when you look up and you see a jet go by really high, that's what you're seeing. Exactly. How could get this clip? Well, really, this is our real-time weather data set. So this updates itself constantly, but we're about four hours behind the actual time. So... Within four hours of this meteor striking, streaking through, we were actually able to see its impacts. Now that's amazing. So it's always collecting this data all the time, and we saw it within four hours of this. Indeed. Data. That's cool.